Despite having reportedly turned down the honour of being the sexiest man alive multiple times, this star is definitely one of the hunkiest actors in Hollywood. Wait a second, we're supposed to prepare? <laughs> Ryan Thomas Gosling was born in London, Ontario, Canada on the 12th of November 1980. Growing up, his family moved around a lot because of his father's work as a travelling salesman. We always lived in apartments and we were always moving and the idea of owning a home was a, was a pipe dream. You know, I don't think that we ever thought that we would, so when I was able to buy a home, it was a, it was a, it was a big deal. You know, I didn't know no one in my family had one. Gosling got his professional start as a performer at 12 years old on television's The Mickey Mouse Club, alongside fellow future stars Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and Justin Timberlake. At the age of 17, he dropped out of high school to fully focus on his acting career and was soon appearing on the big screen. One of his earliest roles was in the thriller Murder by Numbers opposite Sandra Bullock. It's amazing to watch her deal with people and, and, and handle a set, you know. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's it's just it's just something to watch, you know. She just lifts everybody's spirits the second she walks on. In 2004, Gosling finally got his big breakthrough with the romantic drama The Notebook. Soon after the movie came out, Ryan was listed as one of the 50 hottest bachelors by People magazine. And these days, the actor is still one of the biggest sex symbols in Hollywood. I don't know. I mean, it's strange. You know, you just try and kind of like just not think about it. You know, I think if you really thought about it, it would make you it would make you a little. Crazy. In 2006, the humble Canadian star proved to everyone that he's one of the finest performers of his generation, earning a Best Actor Oscar nomination with Half Nelson. The high praise came as quite a surprise. I still can't believe that that happened. It was, that was shocking. Because it happened out of nowhere. It, wasn't some, it was a little independent film and it wasn't something that we ever... There was no real conversation about that. It just sort of happened. In 2010, Gosling co-starred with Michelle Williams in the marital drama Blue Valentine. The following year, the talented star expanded his repertoire by appearing in his first comedy, the unconventional romance Crazy Stupid Love, opposite funny man Steve Carell. The thing is, I did, you know, I didn't want to make the film because it was a comedy. You know, I wanted to make the movie because I wanted to work with Steve. And I'm just a big fan of his. I worked with him once when I was a kid. And well, we were on the same show, but we never actually got to work together. And I just would go to set to watch him work. And I was kind of in awe of him, so I'd just been following him through the years, and i just waiting for an opportunity to work with him, and this is, this came along. That same year, he hit the Cannes Film Festival to unveil a more action-oriented film, the neo-noir crime caper Drive. Gosling was allowed to choose the director he wanted for the project, and he selected Danish auteur Nicholas Winding Refn. Winding Refn was awarded the festival's Best Director trophy, justifying Gosling's faith in him. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius. For his next movie, though, he was the one being asked to take part. The, well, the first person we cast was Ryan. The first person we asked uh, was Ryan and, and sent it to him and asked him if he would do it. The Eyes of March was an emotionally charged drama about politics and earned the young star another Golden Globe nomination. For 2013's Gangster Squad, Ryan took on another updated take on a classic genre, this time the Mafia movie. He also reunited with Derek C. en France for The Place Beyond the Pines. Once again, Gosling loved the director's improvisational style. He, he's constantly shooting, you know, and I mean, you get a break obviously at night, you get to go to bed, but there's not really any much opportunity for you to do anything outside of um, what the character would be doing. Ryan perhaps did what his character would be doing a little too early as he struck up a relationship with his on-screen love interest, Ava Mendez. The two have been together ever since and welcomed two daughters. Perhaps his new life as a family man opened him up to new experiences as a year later he unveiled his directorial debut, Lost River, once again attending the Cannes Film Festival. And in 2015, he played a delightfully sleazy Bond salesman in the financial crisis drama, The Big Short. And the following year, he joined Russell Crowe for the 1970s set crime caper, The Nice Guys. Although it probably seems very exciting to be a handsome movie star with an amazing career and gorgeous wife like Ryan Gosling, it does come with the negative side of being constantly in the public eye. Luckily, he has a very down-to-earth way of looking at it. Those things seem like uh, kind of exciting when you're, you know, like the idea of like paparazzi, you know, like it's such a, that's such a fun word, paparazzi. Sounds like something really fun's gonna happen. You know, but really it's just guys in your bushes.